Namaste, peace, and love, and light. Welcome in, powerhouse to grow. I'm energy goddess. You already know the vibes, y'all. What's good? It's gonna be a new moon in the rising, okay? So I wanted to get that new moon message out as quickly as it can, okay? Time on the clock. It is right now 11:40 on the clock. So I wanted to tap into that new moon message. Okay, this is going to be a new moon message for the collective here. Divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? Beautiful vibes. Take what you need, leave what you don't. If you enjoy these messages, make sure you hit the like, the share, and subscribe button. Welcome in, soul family, my beautiful soulmates. I love you guys. Welcome in. Okay. So what I want to do right now is connect to our current, aka our present energy right now, okay? I want to connect with that, connecting to our present energy for the collective. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Three of Cups and a Judgment. Some of us are getting a call in here um, about a friendship. We're learning something about a friendship. This friendship probably wasn't always necessarily the truest of friendships. I'm hearing a little bit of deception. And there's something about your purpose. Maybe this person was jealous of your calling and your purpose and you standing in your purpose. Um, somebody trying to possibly block you from that. As well as a message coming out that you have friends and allies with this Nine of Cups, okay? This is signifying friends and allies, wish fulfillment of you having that divine soul family, okay? So I'm getting two different messages here now. <sighs> Thank you, Spirit. The Emperor. Yeah, see, this is coming out two ways because some of us here with this Emperor's energy... You were losing out. You were missing out, okay, on the true opportunity of true fulfillment and standing in your purpose. And some of you guys were giving too much fucks, excuse my language, about what the hell friends or people that are just close to you gave, you know, cared about what you was doing too much. You cared about that way too much. I see you in the Nine of Cups energy, which is was fulfillment, as well as uh, working on new projects, endeavors. Um, trying to find a way to build um, more, bring more and, and some sort of structure to what it is that you're doing, okay? Because I feel like you're in the Nine of Cups, meaning wish fulfillment, but you haven't quite figured out how to master this or, or sort of be grateful for what it is you have with this Nine of Cups. Some sort of, you're working on gratitude right now, okay? This is what I'm hearing. Five of Cups. Many of you guys are walking away from relationships, okay? Some of us with these relationships, you know, this Three of Cups energy, these friendships, you guys will be walking away from these friendships because in the end you find out that, you know, there was a little a little bit of sabotage going on as well as uh, people sneaking behind your back and maybe doing things that you had no idea they were doing, but this you found this out and this caused some sort of conflict between you guys okay that's what i'm hearing five of wands page of wands and the four of wands many of you guys were really close to these people um share some sort of living space home environment this could be a work environment as well with some of these people and so you felt really closely connected to these people but you're trying to bridge and build something new here is what I'm hearing on your own you're releasing these ties I don't know if you're building something on your own or if you're just building out you know um, this sort of new mindset building up into how do I make this fresh new start since I'm not going to be with these people no more or I'm going to do this on my own or something like that 
because I feel like you lost out on something. There was a missed opportunity with this Five of Pentacles and the Emperor's energy um, to do with the friendships, okay? And now you're being called collective into your purpose, into what it is you want, okay? Many of you collective have been um, manifested something for a very long time. And this is about your wish fulfillment and things in your life coming true. And some of these people, I'm not going to hold you, don't like the fact that you have all of these opportunities coming in for you. You're literally in the Nine of Cups energy, so you have to understand that, okay? So when it comes to Five of Cups, you have to understand, look, I need to make the best decision for myself at this time, okay? What else is coming out for the collective? King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are trying to move or find something sort of stable, you know, situation here. And that's coming unbeknownst to you. I don't I don't see you guys as seeing it coming around. Like it's like you look out for it, but you can't see it coming, you know? For some reason. I don't know. Maybe you just don't have your finances in order or something like that, but I see that happening for you. A new opportunity for you to have a new home, a new place, a new address. Okay. What else is coming out here for the collective? For our current energies. Thank you. <clears throat> Queen of Swords with the sun upside down. Yeah, because I feel like with, with this with this card right here is speaking of being really disconnected from a situation. And I want you to know. Don't be disconnected from your situation, collective. I mean, I feel like you, you're doing good. You're doing the best that you know how to do. You know, collective, you have to keep in mind that, you know, all of the work that you've put in is not in vain. You really do. This is really that situation where you take that all in and recognize that none of your work is in vain. Okay? Eight of Pentacles. Okay? None of it. All right, and regardless of all the conflict that you face with this five of wands and this five of cups, this indicates a change, and a change often feels like this. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to be kind of in this uncomfortable space moving forward, but knowing, you know, faithfully that this is just my transition. You know, this is just me moving on to what no longer serves me into what now does, okay? And that this is what's best for me. And that I, I can make this as comfortable or as uncomfortable for myself as I want it to be, right? Okay. So let's clarify here our Five of Wands as well as our Five of Cups energy. Clarifying the five of wands. It's clarified by the King of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's going to be moving or finding something really stable um, here. And perhaps this is just a stable set of mind, a stable thought, you know, able to actually release the burden of conflict that surrounds you with this five of wands because conflict is certainly here. And I feel like it's not here within you but more so something that's being projected onto you collective, okay? Because they just see your success and they see what you're going through and they want a part of it, but they can't have it, okay? Because it's not for them, it's yours, right? Clarifying the Five of Cups. Four of Wands, yeah, it's upside down because many of you guys need to recognize that, you know, in order for you to walk away, you know, this is you stepping into your higher self, which brings you into your happy place, you know, four of wands. This makes you happy to walk away from some of these situations. And I know this probably seems really odd to say, but walking away from these situations, which honestly at the time was, you know, is or will be, you know, maybe something difficult, but the best thing at the same time for you at this time, you know? Truly, you know, some of you guys, this could be in your home. If that was that conflict that we're talking about and was in your home, it's best that you, you know, maybe separate or 
find a happy medium, whatever that means for you, because it's not going to be the same, whatever that happy medium is for everybody, right? Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yes, yeah, so we're working on that new beginning with this Five of Pentacles and the Fool. See, some of us in the beginning, we feel like we're at a loss, but you're not. The beginning feels like a loss because it's the start of something. And sometimes when something's just now getting going, you know, it has a, this feeling like, you know, you're waiting on something to happen, so to speak, but you're not. You're just being patient for the start of something because oftentimes when something starts up, it takes a moment for it to start up, right? Okay. What else is coming out here? Let's clarify the five of pentacles. We got all these fives out here. This is the ten. This is completion. You just have to recognize that, every, you know, all the transitions, they're not going to look the same. They're not going to feel the same either. Okay. Five of pentacles. All your changes in life aren't going to feel the same, you know. We're going through different ones at this time, collective, a different stage right now, collective, okay. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles with the justice. There's a need for balance because this Five of Pentacles was showing the reason why you were in lack and losing things is because you were in balance, okay. And there was a failure to see the balance, okay, that was needed with the justice card. Clarifying the Five of uh, pentacles here and why you weren't experiencing loss and it was never the loss of anything per se except for these people who you know with this emperor's energy this old stale energy you know that wasn't really you know helping out here the situation and what you were going through it's like these people were like sitting on a high horse judging you from up above you know on some sort of high horse but then it's like they recognize finally, like something hit him in the head and it woke him up and they realized like, holy shit, no, we had it all wrong, you know? And it's like, no, 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 you had it right. You were sent here to destroy me. I recognize that about you. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's us, right? Collective. All right. And I won't let you do it. You know what I'm saying? That That's us, so... Clarifying the Queen of Swords here. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarifying the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, some of us will definitely be uh, finding some sort of new job. That's what I was saying with the scene with the Sun card. This Queen of Swords came out with the Sun card as well. Page of Pentacles. Some of us finding a new job, new income, new resources, new opportunities. Clarifying the Moon. Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords. I feel like there's something to do with something you don't see coming. There's something you don't see coming right now that has you very worried. That keeps you up. That you're very stressed out about here. But I feel like you need to surrender this to the divine with the moon. That's why it's clarifying. The moon is clarifying the seven of swords and the nine of swords. This is something about you releasing the pain and the burden off of your mind, the stress off of your mind, okay? And surrendering that to the divine, okay? Listen, surrender it to the new moon in Leo, okay? Surrender it to the new moon in Leo, okay? Literally, that's what just came through for you, for us, okay? Clarifying the Three of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, yeah. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have out the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? The reason why that Three of Pentacles is out here because we're finally able to listen to Spirit Council at this time. And people see us standing in our truth. And it's actually very beautiful and noteworthy. And people actually want to hop on that bandwagon. And so irregardless of whether they're in their truth or whatever the fuck this is, you know, if this is just a trend, a fad, we don't give a shit, right, collective? But the fact that 
we're inspiring the masses, right? It's more so the message here, okay? So continue to listen to Spirit Council and what they have to offer you at this time, okay? With that Three of Pentacles, please, okay? Because your truth, honestly, it looks really good on you. And people are really, like I said, completely inspired by your truth and you living in it and walking in it, okay? Because it gives people the idea and the impression that, well, if you can do it, so can I, right? Um, and that's the actually the best energy that you could give somebody, you know? Truly. The gift of inspiration, right? All right. Let's get us some future messages here, collective. Let's go into our future. What do we see for us, future here? What do we see for the collective's future? Spirit connecting to the collective's future. Future energy for the collective. Future energy for the collective. I see us in a future building still with this Eight of Pentacles, okay? First card out was in the Eight of Pentacles. So I see us still building whatever this is. For some of us, this is going to be a job legacy. Um, for some of us, this is going to be relationship-wise. But for the most part, this is legacy for us collective, okay? A lot of Pentacles out here, okay? Really big talking about legacy and our earthly abundance, okay? We're really working hard at that, okay? And some of us are finding our purpose um, in the spiritual world, okay? In the spiritual sense, excuse me, of the word. Like, you could be, um, your new passions could be something along the spiritual line, you know, something of a spiritual nature. Like, maybe you're working on some sort of new divination skill set, Okay. And I feel like that's your calling, that's your purpose for many of you collective here, okay? And so flow with that, go with that. You know what I'm saying? That's a really good vibe, beautiful energy to be building on, okay? I feel like this energy also brings in a beautiful balance for us collective, okay? Now, some of us still are dealing in the future with this sort of disconnect here with this Queen of Swords. She's back, right? In a whole new deck, right? Um sort of a bitterness from the experience and I want you to be mindful of, of not holding any bitterness or any you know part of you where you couldn't forgive you know allow true forgiveness to take place you know for these people in their actions because you know they just don't know any better right because when we know better we do better right and I don't want you to feel any discomfort in the future about it, right? Nine of Pentacles, we're talking about this beautiful energy. Remember I was saying earlier how your beautiful transformation is so phenomenal and it's so inspiring and beautiful on you, you know? You have to be strong in the future. I feel like some of you guys, you know, we go through something in the, in the future that we're going to have to really be strong from it. I feel like it's just the, the reeling in of the emotion of 
you know, how we want to feel. And I mean, honor your feelings, honor your emotions for God's sake. However, don't harp on them. Don't fester on them. You know, allow yourself to move through them in a healthy sense, you know, while still honoring them, right? The world, some of us could have an opportunity to expand our careers with people that we always wanted to maybe hook up with and, you know, expand with and stuff like, um, I see collaboration here with this world card for some people. Okay. So that's a really good energy. Let's clarify though. Clarify in here. It's a world card. Let's clarify the world. Why is the world showing up? Why is the world here? The world is clarified by the seven of wands, okay? There's a need for some of us to definitely protect in the future or there's something that they want you to protect or look after, okay, in the future. Clarifying this uh, world. Why is the seven of wands here? You got to trust your intuition about this. For some of us, it's for everybody, it's not going to be the same. You just have to trust your intuition right now about what that could possibly mean, okay? And what that could possibly be that it is you have to protect, okay? Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. Thank you. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Three of Wands and the Strength. Yeah. See, in order to overcome that Queen of Swords and bitterness, you have to implement love. Love gives you strength to overcome any fucking thing. And that gives you the opportunity to choose the best fucking possible solution for yourself. Okay? But you have to invite love in. When you feel a disconnect from the, the world and the humans and all that stuff... <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, they even. Okay, that is fucking hilarious. Anyway, when you feel disconnected to these things, you have to, you absolutely have to invite love in, okay? It's just because you're not feeling loved, okay? So invite love in and let that guide you, okay? <laughs> Clarifying. <laughs> Six and it out. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, some of you guys, I see you very balanced in working in your calling um, and actually finding some sort of new career that's going to be extremely lucrative about your calling. Your calling is going to be lucrative. There's going to be opportunity in it to make money and not like, oh, I love my calling just because I get to make money, but like this is something you actually want to do. You're passionate about this. Clarifying the strength. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all. I swear to God, only thing that's really on the board is like all Pentacles and one, two wands. One wand. I like one wand. Two wands. Damn it. It's two wands. A seven of wands and a three of wands. Okay, and that again is a ten. Completion. Hello. Are we paying attention to the signs? Okay. Finishing up for us in the future, we have the Page of Pentacles clarifying the strength, okay? You being stronger also is going to help you with your money and your finances and career because it's something about this strength that you're able to use towards your career field, okay? Because your testimony is a part of what you will use as your strength, you know? Your testimony and what you have gone through. 
you have a way of, you know, saying things like other people can't say them, you know, so you have to look within yourself and, and find out what that is, what that niche is for you in the future, okay? Some of you guys, you have an opportunity um, with love and romance, Knight of Cups and the Lovers, okay? But some of you guys, things are going to have to change in order for that to come about, okay? As well as you'll need to find a new energy because some of you guys are just looking at love and the and just the wrong from the wrong perspective at this time, okay? And so you're you're gonna have to find a way to walk away from beating yourself up and thinking that you don't deserve love because you totally do with your birthright. All right. Let me give you some romance or let me give you some powerful insight messages or something and then we'll power thought messages Listen, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light, okay? Remember that, that the universe has your back, okay? The universe has your back. I surrender to a power that is greater than me, okay? Connect with source. Remember that three of pentacles moving forward? True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. That's what I was saying. The experience and definitely honor your feelings, okay? It's not about you. You don't need to honor your feelings. You should honor your feelings, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want you to, to harbor in them or stay stuck in them, okay? My vibes speak louder than my words, okay? Remember that no matter how, how much fucking talking you're doing, everybody's reading your vibe. 